Hey guys, this is Nick Romick again. I uh, just wanted to go over a little bit of expansion on something that we did earlier. Um, that was for the uh, facial, um, facial rigging for a Lego character or Lego type character. If you haven't seen that, uh, look for the link in the description. It'll get you to the point where we're at really uh, right here. Um, minus the rig part, it's, it'll, it'll show you the uh, how to set up a, set up a facial animation rig uh, using um, textures and driven keys. So um, what I was going to do here is I was going to give you guys a little bit of a, a an expansion there on um, saying, let, let's say we're working with Lego characters and Lego characters are really cool um, because uh, really the difference between them is, is all just textures and maybe some, you know, the hair will replace that with a hat, uh, so on and so forth. So for this particular example, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you um, how to switch character models with the same uh, control. Uh, the facial controls that we did we set up in the last lesson so um so yeah we'll get started here so we're going to use this to drive textures as well um i am using v-ray and this is very specific for v-ray there are other ways to do it um but this very this the way we're going to be doing is with v-ray so um first thing we're going to do is just kind of open up the hyper shade um and then uh we've got a couple things here i mean uh, we've got Ricky's face, hair, pants, everything. We've got separate uh, shaders for each one of those. So I'm going to start with um, what's what's known as a switch. It's, so it's a uh, sorry, it's a V-ray switch material. It's very nice. Um, actually, I'm going to clear uh, clear this out of here. And so we've got this V-ray switch material, which you'll see it'll show up here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to rename that. Um, to we're gonna call it uh, face material so um, so this is the first thing that we're gonna do and the face material is really cool because uh, this is your um, this is the switch and uh, you can have up to nine different materials in here uh, which is really helpful some of the other ones that were non V-Ray were like two of them you can kind of combine them um, but it's a like a blend a blend one so but we'll, we'll go over this anyway. So uh, let's say I want two different faces. So now if I select uh, this here, you can see our Ricky face is one of them, but we're gonna add another one in here. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna set a node up. I've done this already before or earlier. Um, so we're gonna add a file here and the file is going to be... So we've got a different folder here. So everything's coming from um, Ricky. And I've gone up here and I've added cop too. So this is a UDIM again. It's going to be in the uh, in the previous ex example. Um, so you just open that up. When you duplicate, sometimes you'll lose stuff here. So uh, actually, I'm going to UV tiling. It's going to go to UDIM, and um, I'm just going to reload. So I've got uh, generate preview, so I can see that that's in there. Um, in the texture editor or hypershade. So now that that's done, we've got two of them. So uh, actually, might as well re rename this one here to cop face. And now we've got two of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab both of these, and actually they're all in here already. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab the cop face, this and this, and we'll just move those. Oops, just going to move those here. Kind of give us a little bit more view. Uh, okay, so I've got the cop face here, and I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, Ricky face. I'm gonna middle um, mouse button, drag it right in there. And uh, you'll notice that that doesn't have all the other shading networks in it. It is there, it's just not being shown in the hypershade. I'm not really worried about it because I'm not worrying, I'm not using it. Um, but here we've got Ricky face and the cop face as well. So those are the ones we're going to work with. We want to plug them directly into the face material. The easiest way to do that is to select one, or select the face material, and then don't select it, but click middle drag that right directly into material zero, and then hit the right, uh, regular mouse button, or left mouse button. There you go, and you can hit enter to commit, and then we'll do the same thing with, uh, oops, so just click on that one, and middle mouse, and then get into there and then enter to commit. So now we've got a switch. Um, so what we can do is we can take this uh, Ricky face. I'm going to select the objects 
that it's um, that are assigned it's assigned to and then I'm going to assign this material to it you notice it's gonna switch and uh, we can change that by clicking on the face material I'm just gonna open it up here in attribute editor we can do a switch 0 to 1 and you're gonna notice that's gonna switch change there so we've got the first part done it's really cool um, so now what we need to do is just kind of plug that directly in to our control here so uh, I'm gonna edit now add attribute I'm gonna call it uh, character I'm gonna call it character skin because it's not changing the actual model uh, and we'll have that in enum and for now I'm, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of different characters but for the purpose of this example we're just gonna go with cop and then we're gonna do Ricky as well you can add up to nine so that's pretty good actually ten because it's zero to nine okay now that we have that we're gonna click add you're gonna notice that that uh, drop down is gonna be added over here which is really cool so the next step we're gonna do is we are going to go switch to our animation and we're gonna go to key and we're gonna do set driven key and set this is pretty cool so we'll grab this here this is our control we're gonna set load that as the driver and then we're also going to load we're actually going to go back into the hyper shade here select this face material or you can select it here and load that as the driven now material switch is what we want to do and then character skin is what we're going to want to do here so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is switched to Ricky and then face material material switch um, again, where's the material? I'll bring that up. Okay. So now that we have that switch at one, we're just going to hit key. And then now I'm going to switch back to this. I'm going to switch to cop. I know he uses the word switch a lot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do material switch and then control A. Sorry. Okay, and then we'll switch that to zero, not two. There you go. And then we'll key that. And then what you'll see, this point, most likely, you've done it right, cop, Ricky. Uh, now, what you do is you do the same thing with kind of the uh, the shirt texture. Um, I, I'm gonna do that later um, you guys gotta kind of get the idea but another cool thing is that you know we know Ricky doesn't have or the cop isn't gonna have Ricky's hair so um, that's another thing this is uh, unrelated but what we're doing is uh, we can do a set driven keys um, to this so this can be the load the driven and then this can be load driver and then facial controls character skin and then we'll just uh, plug this into the visibility and uh, what I'll do here because this is already here I'm gonna switch it to Ricky and then I'm gonna key that and because I know the visibility is on and then we're gonna do that one more time and then we're gonna switch this to visibility off and then we're gonna switch this over here to cop and actually we switched that to me okay so we got switch that to cop then click on this I'm gonna change the visibility to off and then we're gonna key that and then now what's going to happen is Ricky's got the hair, cop has nothing. So what you would do is you would bring in, um, I don't know if I've got one, uh, I'll take a look here. You can import a cop hat. That would be super, wouldn't it? Um, uh, there's a cop hat, OBJ. So there you got yourself a cop hat which is perfect and you could do the same thing with that really we just kind of grab the cob hat and then uh, we just say they that's a little bit driven and then we get the visibility and then we've got this here um, character skin is selected to cop obviously and then we'll just key that and then we'll switch this over here to Ricky I just want to wear both of those so I'm going to switch the visibility to off and then we're going to key that. And then now you go, Ricky, cop, Ricky, perfect. And the cool thing is it can also change things like, let's say the, uh, let's say Ricky pants. Now, 
Ricky's got brown pants. I don't know if you can see. Just just for some for a change here. What I'll do is I'll click on this. I'll set this to the driven, and then we'll change the diffuse RGB uh, to let's say 255, 255, 255. So when it's Ricky, uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna find these guys. So now he's got bright white pants. Uh, and what you can do is you can key that. And then we can go back to this guy. Switch to the cop. And then we can do this whole thing again. And then when we switch back to uh, Ricky's pants, we can change these to zero. Boom. Key that. And we can do cool stuff like Ricky in his crazy white pants and the cop in his. So you can kind of mess around with a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you can get this thing doing, turning things on, turning things off. And that really helps kind of eliminate a lot of the, you know, multiple character rigs for the same kind of character. Uh, and it allows you to skin them individually, cool stuff like that. And um, let's just say that I do make some changes to you know, he's in the middle of talking, uh, he's winking at you, he's like, hello, how are you, right? Uh, now I switch over to Ricky, now he's doing the same thing to you. So you can get in there and you can do some major animation and you can do all this other stuff and you say, you know what, I think that would be cooler for uh, the cop to be doing. There you go. Uh, rather than having to start or copy those animation keyframes and switch them over to another model, and you know, I'm just getting uh, getting bored just thinking about it. It's too tedious. So, other than that, that should be a pretty good crash course to get yourself uh, started. Um, and again, if you haven't seen the original, um, the original kind of uh, video that I did on doing the uh, UV driven uh, set driven key animated. Facial textures, go check that out. That's going to be in the uh, in the in the description of this video. Um, hopefully that helps. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you need. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always around. All right.